Good morning, dragons. So today we are going to be talking about two of my favorite simple machines. One is the screw. The other is the inclined plane. I think these two simple machines are some of the funnest to play around with and the most interesting to explore. So first we're going to start out with this nice chunk of wood and take a look at the difference between a screw and a nail. This is an experiment that I would like for you to do at home. So if you have the opportunity to do this, if you have a screw, if you have a nail, if you have a hammer and a screwdriver, then please go ahead and try this. It's quite interesting and quite fun. So there is a little bit of a difference between if you look at this nail and this screw. The nail does not have any thread around it. The thread that goes around a screw, it functions as an inclined plane. And you can think of it as an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. This nail is just a cylinder that has a pointy end. So the cylinder, it's gonna function as a wedge when we pound it into wood. This screw, screw takes a lot more effort to put inside, but we have to use the same amount of effort to get it out. So for my nail, when I pound it in, make sure that you are doing this safely. If a parent needs to start the nail for you, please allow them to. I'm gonna tap very slowly just to make sure it's in. And then for my nail, all I have to just some easy taps and it's in. For the screw, there are two types of screwdrivers, two main types of screwdrivers. This is called a flathead. This is called a Phillips. So I look at my screw, it has a Phillips head. So I'm gonna get the Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna screw it in. As I have to push down quite a bit to get it started. And as I'm twisting it in, you can see how many more times I'm twisting it to get it inside. Now, I have both of them and the screw isn't flush. Oh, one step before. If you're doing this around anything that is nice, if you're doing it inside like I am, make sure that you measure how long the nail is, how long the screw is compared to how thick your wood is. It's very important that it doesn't go all the way through. You don't want to screw any boards onto your lovely dining room table, okay? So make sure you pay attention to that. Now, now that these two are in, now that my nail is in and the screw is in, I can take this end of my hammer and I can try to pull out both of them. Before, if you would like, you can stop the video and talk to your parents about which one you think is going to uh, be easier to get out the screw or the nail okay so take a take a quick minute to talk about that and try to come up with a hypothesis to think about which one will be easier to get out if you can think of why too that would be awesome okay so i'm going to put my hammer in i'm just starting to turn my hammer and the nail is already out so this came out quite easily the screw let's see how easy this is and oh it is not oh, oh okay I got it out I had to tear it out it took a lot more force to get the screw out and one of the reasons that it took so much more force is because of the threads of this screw this inclined plane part, the threads of the screw. As you twist it into the wood, all of the energy you take getting it into the wood, you need to have that much energy to uh, get it out. And that's why it took so much more uh, power, so much more force for me to get it out of the wood. Okay, so I hope if you do this experiment, I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, choose to, if you have some wood, if you are able to build and you want to build something too, today is a great day to build something if you have the tools, if you have extra wood, 
if you have someone there who can help you build. So if that's a possibility, go ahead and enjoy that. Now, today I have my box. There's my simple machines and I have my wheels and axles inside already. So now I am going to look for different inclined planes. If you find screws too, you can go ahead and put those in as well. Make sure they're not sharp. If they are sharp, put them in something so that they don't poke you when you grab things. It's screws, you don't want to get poked by a screw. It doesn't feel very good. So inclined planes, if you've watched the videos already, then you might know a little bit about it. We've talked about it throughout the school year though. So I think that you might be able to say a little bit about it, what an inclined plane is. So what an inclined plane does is if I have something very, very heavy, like, where are you? My body. Pretend I was this small and this was the right size of house for me and I needed to get my body all the way up to here. If I had to pick up my body uh, and pull it up the entire way, then it would create, it would be so exhausting. I would have to expend so much energy to do that. And I might not be able to get up to the second floor to, what's in the second floor? It looks like to do some laboratory experiments, maybe check the time, go to that place if I needed to. Um, I would just have to stay on this floor. So because it's uh, so hard to pick ourselves up, then stairs are a good way for us to take small little steps and expend just a little bit of energy. So each step we use a little bit of energy as we go up. It equals being the same as uh, pulling ourselves up, but it saves a little bit of energy so our bodies can do this task even if we can't climb right straight up. Now, a good way to see if you would be able to not use stairs is if you can do pull-ups. So if you go outside and you try to pull your body up maybe four or five times, if you can do that, then you might not need an inclined plane like the stairs. Most inclined planes though we think of as ramps, although a stair is a modified inclined plane. So when we have an inclined plane, I don't know if the batteries are good on my little gerbil squirrel thingamabobber, but let's go ahead and see. Then it's easier to go up. It's also easier to go down. So slides are one of my favorite inclined planes. There's so many fun inclined planes. And, ooh, it looks like it has some energy. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 go. Oh, you're almost there. Oh, no, don't go down. Up, 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 up. Oh, there. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Whew, we made it up. So they can also go down if they want to follow the acorn down the ramp and all the way into the exercise ball. Whoa, don't fall on your nose. Go on. Come on, I'm trying to show you off. There we go. They can go all the way down as well. And then run all the way around in different places. Looks like I found a wheel and axle, huh? Cool. So, this is, I'm actually going to turn you off. You might be a little too loud. So this is, this is another inclined plane. Now, one of my favorite types of inclined planes are marble runs. I love to set up marble runs. I love to watch the marbles roll down them. For a marble run, if you have a set, that's great. If you think about all of the different things you can get in order to make a marble run, then the options are a lot more. And so if you look around your house for different things you can use as inclined planes to set up a marble run, like this pool noodle, then, ooh, it went all the way over here. Then you can really open up what you are thinking of as what a, an inclined plane is. So I want you to go around in the same sort of scavenger hunt, look around your house for different inclined planes, and then have fun building a marble run. If you enjoy building the marble run and you want to make a video of it, that is great. I would love to see your 
marble runs as you set them up. You can also think of different ways to use uh, other inclined planes or simple machines. Now, this, before we go, I just want to show how clearly this marble run part, this screw, you can really see how the screw becomes an inclined plane when I put the ball in. And then I start to turn it up. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Okay. So as I turn it up, you can see the ball climbs all the way up because it's sliding up the inclined plane that's wrapped around all the way to the top. So I hope you have fun building. I hope you come up with a lot of great things. And um, I can't wait to see. If you do make anything that's really neat, you might want to go ahead and save it for next week. Because next week we will start to explore Rube Goldberg machines, which will be coming up. Uh, great to see all of you guys on Flipgrid. And it looks like everyone is having a great time. So uh, take care. And can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye-bye.